Walk past the cat in the polio string cheese box. Walk past the giant subwoofer. Mmm. We go make a stew. Now, let me think how you start this. There's only one way to start any stew. Any modern 2019 stew. And that's get your biggest, baddest Instapot. By the way, welcome to Z Cooks. If you'd like to follow and support this channel, feel free to do that on the Patreon, linked in the description below. Move this over here. Doopity doop doo. -doo. Now this is an eight quart. And now I live alone and I have no guests coming. So if I'm gonna make um, four pounds of stew meat, odds are I'm going to have to do it all at once. So let's saute, which we turn, press, piss up this shiznit. I could actually saute the meat elsewhere, but then you don't get that flavor. I'm not gonna be able to saute all of it, obviously, but I'm gonna get some nice, good burn marks down there. So, step two? Would that even say step one? And I'd really love to put music on, but I tried that once and it completely messed the video up. So, why am I cutting this open with that? That is nonsensical. Welcome to Zeos, out of sorts cooking channel. When Zeos is out of sorts, y'all know it. Cut the surround. All right. Seasoning. Shit, do I have Gravy Master? Oh, baby, I need Gravy Master. Oh, baby. Did I use all my Gravy Master? Where's my phone? Oh, God, is it even on the list? I have a oh, shopping list channel. Shopping list channel. Uh, let me search for gravy. Do I have it on the list somewhere? There's no results for gravy. Oh, fuck. You know what that means? That means I have to type Gravy Master. Gravy Master. Sh Shite. I have better than bullion. Which one are you? Oh, God. Am I out of beef better than bullion, too? Reduce sodium chicken base. Reduce sodium chicken base. Oh, no. This is literally going to be the end of days. All right, you could still use chicken base for beef, I think. Why is this not making the hot goes? Oh, I gotta click the start button. Thoughts, Bok Bok? Yeah, I know, it's a terrible cooking idea. This channel should just be deleted. We'll see. You only need half a bag of these though. And these are a lot, but I get them from Costco. The thing about buying them from Costco, if I buy them from Costco, it all feels like, oh, well, yeah, you, obviously you could just throw away half of them. If you got them from Costco, because they were so cheap anyway. Oh, I bought these mushrooms specifically for this, which is actually only about two-thirds of the amount of mushrooms I have in this fridge currently. I have more mushrooms down here. I have mushrooms on top of my cheese. Oof, these are some oofy mushrooms. I don't want to put that whole thing of mushrooms in there though. Maybe I'll do everything half. Take half of this, freeze it. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's be this way. And then I, but then I still have to make all these mushrooms because they were so cheap. It was cost because like four dollars for this amount of mushrooms. And who's shopped ever? Now I have cabbage because I made a corned beef a while back, like two weeks ago, and the cabbage is still good. And I know I'm not supposed to put cabbage in that, but you know, what the hell? It's just sitting around, right, Shivers? You're right. See? I was thinking about stopping this and starting over. Can't now. Cat muped. Echo, all lights 100. Okay, so that's heating up. We're gonna need some oil. I don't have any fresh garlic either. Oh my god, this is the worst. I'm just the worst, Chewbacca. How do you how do you even live with me? I'm gonna have to salt, the, oh, I'm putting half of this away, aren't I? Probably shouldn't garlic the entire amount. Although really, really, there's never gonna be a point where I'm not. You, you just wanna eat raw. You, you're not afraid of, you don't, you don't fear nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna go out here and pick this. So the ones that are garlic I 
All right, all right, stop. Oil, olive oil. Get that in there. I'm gonna peel off this top layer and get them on there. I don't think the meat that's on the bottom. Oh, we're starting to hear some sazzle. Get some sazzle out there. How much meat do I want to consume in the next three days? Because this stew will last three days. I'm eating it tonight, and I shouldn't be. One of the rules of making a stew is always better the next day, and the day after that, and the day after that. But I'm a dick, and I'm making it for tonight. Where's that oil? I think it's there. It doesn't matter. Even if it sticks to the bottom, you're going to pressure cook in this. Is that enough meat? You're watching me make decisions that will affect literally my longevity as a human being. How much meat do I want inside of me? Mm -mm. All right, one more piece. Nice, big piece. All right, the rest can go in this bag for the next stew I make. I've got to salt that too. You only got one chance to make that meat really flavorful from the initial impact of cooking. Wow, these fucking pieces are cold. I wish I had like things, everybody. I really need to go shopping. I really need to buy a Christmas tree and I need to go shopping. But not at, well actually it's only six o'clock. And like I said before, do not throw this in the garbage because that gonna stink. Rinse it out best you can, get a, zip, get a bag and throw it out separately. bring this into my hallway. We're gonna place this down on the floor. I have a garbage bag over there that's gonna go out tonight, so I don't want it just sitting around in my house for the foreseeable future. Okay, oh, it smells good already. All right, that's gonna get thrust into the freezer. This hand then has to be cleaned. go. Top of my ears of corn. Oh, it smells so good. Now, because I'm using a pressure cooker, in this case an Instant Pot, we... it's tough. If you're doing like a slow cooker, you can cook it for six hours straight. And your last hour and a half to two hours, you can put the car carrots in there so they just keep a little crunch. You could sort of time it when you put an onion in, things like that. But with the Instant Pot, as soon as I close that lid and it pressurizes, 45 minutes. And you can't exactly pop it open halfway through and add things. Because, well, you can't. Because it'll take too long to get back up to pressure. So everything has got to go in all at once. And then you got to hope for the best. I mean, I could cook the carrots separately. We're going to have to do a lot of salt. If I don't have the spices that I usually use or the, the gravy master, it's okay to let it like burn to the bottom of this. You, you're not gonna ruin that meat. You're about to cook it under pressure. I don't need onion powder because I'm gonna add actual onion. Nutmeg, tarragon. Oof, a little bit of a smoky. My sister got me this and it's been sitting there for a while. There we go. A little bit smoky smoke salt. We need to get a can of diced tomatoes, which if you forget, makes it suck. Hi Megumin. Can I have some diced tomatoes? Thanks. I need a place to put her. Where the fuck are you supposed to put her? It looks cute. Creep it out of the box. Like, oh look, same, same pose. Now, the question is, am I going to make this with rice or noodles or over potatoes? I have ma I had mashed potatoes the other day, so I'm not doing mashed potatoes again. I don't have any like whole potatoes. I can't do this yet. That was that would have almost been a fail. 
Yes. Mm. You're not trying to cook it in here. We're just trying to get to burn the bottom of it, which unfortunately the bottom moisture is coming out of there, as you can see in this form of uh, gaseous moisture. So we're not really getting the crisp we want or that I want. I'm gonna put these baby bellows back. I'll make those on their own as a separate thing. Hi, cat's head. How you doing? We need to rinse this. Oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I apologize. Cover your... <laughs> oh! I'm allergic to my own bullshit. Here we go. Apparently in Canada, where Princess Boss is from, you don't ever have to wash the dirt off your mushrooms because uh, they're all dirt free. And I'm like, what? Yeah, she was like grossed out when I started cleaning off the mushrooms. And I don't know, understand because they live in dirt. So I mean, unless they're paying their workers to get the dirt off of them. And they're not afraid of rinsing off it with full water. Like, just not afraid. Uh, I've never actually put mushrooms in a beef stew before. I just feel like it'd be something that'd be fine. There's a little bit of stuff on here. Like, I could get here and really obsessively rinse off every little mushroom cap. But, I mean, dirt's dirt. Dirt's great. It's not poo. Is it poo? Oh, my God. Someone in the comments is going to tell me it's poo, isn't it? And I usually cook on live stream now. That's my thing. I Twitch stream twice a week. And those are usually... I reserve, like, the big meals. Like, if I'm making a beef stew or if I'm doing ribs or something, I will do that on stream because it's something to do. I don't exactly play video games all day. See, we're getting all that, that bubbling. That means we're pulling a lot of moisture out of it. Okay, so I'm going to use half this bag of carrots. Half, half, a whole onion though, because fuck, fuck everything else. Let's just throw these in there for now. Although these could use less damage. Let's throw this in there for now. I love how it shoots water everywhere in my kitchen. That's the best. That garbage. Uh, one of the better things about using a pressure cooker, especially with onions, is the lacking amount of work you have to put into it. So here, let's cut this in half. And then we'll cut this in half, AKA a quarter. And now just peel off what you're not gonna use. There we go. Garbage pail. Chewbacca, you want some onion? You definitely don't wanna sniff this onion. And that's it, throw it in there. This goes in in quarters. The pressure will actually destroy it and yank it apart. Hi. Yeah, I know. You're the one that wants to sniff this. Want to sniff it again? Yeah, I didn't fucking think so. So, we can just chop the more annoying bits off. I really need a best of the worst. I need a best of the worst to watch tonight. One, two, three. Um, could you use more than one onion? So now I'm imagining it's a Twitch stream and people are asking me questions that are interesting. Like, hey, Zeos, could you use more than one onion? You can use as many onions as you fucking want. If you make onion soup out of it. What is happening? All right. I had to lose an extra layer. So that's onions and tomato. And now we'll do the carrots and the cabbage. Although, I've, again, I've never put... I've never put mushrooms in my beef stew. And I've never put cabbage in beef stew. But I'm going to throw this cabbage away. Because I'm not making corned beef again. So I might as well just take some of it. I don't know how I would determine this. Now there's cabbage in it. 
There's a little more cabbage. Um, I, I'm literally, that's it. I just, that, I feel like I'm wasting less. I was gonna use this whole thing of carrots, but let's not do that. Half of that. I don't think you could freeze these carrots either. That would be great if I could just freeze them. Can I just freeze this? Keep refrigerated. I could freeze it, they last forever. I need to eat lots. And now the mushrooms go on top. And now is where I would usually add like a soy sauce. I am out of soy sauce. I am out of everything beef related. Oh wait, I have bison tallow, but you know what? That's not exactly the flavor I'm looking for. I do like to add a little bit of, um, a little bit of spice to my Thing. So maybe some secret aardvark, although this, this habanero one's the wrong flavor. Where's, where's the jerk one? Hmm. Maybe I won't be going with one of those. Maybe I'll go on with something else. This pain is good was my original hot sauce, like the one that I fell in love with when I was younger. And you could just put it in there. Just... It's gonna be diluted and boiled down and made weaker. We are now going to, I think, we've got that, we've got the beef, we've got the onions, mushrooms, carrots. We need liquid. And then we need to close this up and make it an actual stew. So, I brought this out. Does have a date on it? 76 servings, Jesus. Oof! Okay. It's no longer 2016. And throw that in the trash. That's why you check, boys. Boys and goyles, why did I have two of them? I didn't know why I had two of them, now I know I had two of them. Was I even living here in 2016? Like, yeah I was. I went to Japan in 2015. That's better. September 22nd, 2019, also expired, also expired. I guess I shouldn't have bought like so many of them. Let's just give it in there. We're just gonna get some, we gotta get some breakdown. And even if it's like chicken soup by the time the beef touches it, it's gonna be delicious. Yeah, I guess I'm using a bunch of it now because it's gonna be thrown out anyway. Ha <laughs> ha, ah, food waste America. All right, September is not that long ago. I'm saying that in my mind. I actually do have terrible soy sauce. I've got the the real shitty ones that come with Chinese food. Oh, I think I might have tossed out a bunch of those. I had a whole slew. Someone sent me an entire package of it. Right, I gotta get water in this. So I'm going to run the filter because Actually, I could, no, I'm sharing that outlet, but I could use my hot water pot to actually get it up to temperature and then add it. Oh, back to the salt. Y'all need lots of it. That is a proper amount of salt for a stew. All right, you know what? That's my max fill. Let's, let's actually do a thing. Get off of there. Here. Just toss around this cabbage. Get all this shit in there. Do you understand, like, I'm not really working hard to make this, like, perfect and proper? And you, you might frown upon that. But at the same time, I'm going to tell you, if I could be this careless with generating this meal and it still comes out edible and good, what's stopping you? I'll put this on my stove. My stove is currently in a position to try to catch the little fucking mouse that keeps running around out of it. It's like Tom and Jerry, I swear to Christ, only my cat doesn't give a fuck. Alright, let that go. Put this here. You ready? Let's see how long it takes to boil. That's, that's 1.8 liters. This is actually a little bit higher than 1.8 liters. I'm going to take a little bit out. Let's see what the maximum... Okay, 
I'm going to pause this. I'm going to set this from saute to stew. Stew meat. So now your options are hour and a half is like it. Keep warm on. Pressure high. Delay off. That's it. Start. Now I'm just going to wait for that to get to... Like, it's already showing bubbling. I just want to put it in there already hot. Because if I put that in there, it's just going to kill all progress. And it's going to take forever to get up to a boil to generate the pressure. Because that timer, that doesn't click on until pressure is relieved, is achieved. So it's just going to take fuck all forever. I should have been doing that first. But I'm not thinking prior. I'm not thinking fourth dimensionally. Anything else I should put in here? I know some people would scream potatoes. Uh, what else? Actually, here, let's just take a real quick on my phone. Okay, Google. Stew recipes. We'll just take a rough, a rough, I just said beef stew. Okay, Old-fashioned beef stew. Let's see what they say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, we're talking about flour. Didn't use that. Ground pepper. Yeah. Stewing meat. Fine. Vegetable oil, fine. Red wine vinegar, ooh. Red wine, ooh, I do have, I have that Merlot that I use for my mushrooms. You're also watching my brain function right now. Uh, we're not gonna put spinach in there. But one of the things you can do is just take other people's recipes. I'm not saying to steal them, but just hand pick what you think you could add. Because I'm going to leave this recipe. Uh, beef broth, which I don't have. And I'm using... Ch Chewbacca, what are you doing in there? I'm like, what's, what's crunkling in the other apartment? <clears throat> this is an annoying bottle. I should get the penis one. You wouldn't get it. How much red wine? I'm not even going to check. I'm just going to add it. Boom. What else did I want? Bay leaves, meh. Onion, medium, but I put a big one. Carrots, baking potatoes, and a teaspoon of salt. Two teaspoons of salt. All right, next one. Let's see. Slow cooker or stew. What are you asking me to put in there? Flour again? What are we doing with the flour? Is that to thicken it? I should probably read the instruction, but let's just keep going with ingredients. Black pepper, yes. Garlic clove, I didn't have. I used garlic powder, which actually could probably use more garlic powder. Bay leaf, again. See, if you start seeing patterns. Bay leaf. This one says paprika. One teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, which I would probably... Do I have Worcestershire sauce? What are you? You are... Now you're on the floor. I do have Worcestershire sauce. How old is that? Why did you fall on the ground? Do you not love me? Spinach. Oh, God, spinach. This is the worst container ever, by the way. It was going well until the spinach decided to fall all over the fucking floor. Here. Just push this all to the side. Deal with that later. Okay, Worcestershire sauce. Does this stuff ever go bad? Shake bottle. I feel like that's Worcestershire-ish. Okay, Worcestershire sauce. Let's just use things. Hey, a pop-up. Let's just save this recipe. Fuck off. Beef broth, no. Celery and carrots. Okay, next. The best beef stew. See, that's getting up. That's right about hot enough. I'm just going to add it. Doesn't have to get to a boil. We still have some time to prep. Uh, view recipe. Why wouldn't you just... Salt. Flour. Divided. More flour. Okay. Paprika. Canola oil. Tomato paste. See, no one of them said tomato except for this one. I said tomato cubes. Red wine. Broth, which I don't have. Two cups of beef broth. Three cups of cubed peeled potatoes. Don't have. Of course, you have onions, carrot, cold water, balsamic, red wine, vinegar, frozen peas. Hmm. 
Okay. Uh, basically, the only thing I'm going to find out is not about a Tesla new Silverado. It was astonishing. No. I'm going to go back to this last one because that was an easier to navigate page. Okay. Advertisement. I don't care. Average rating. I love it. What are you doing with this flour? In a small bowl, toss beef, quarter teaspoon, large bowl, combine flour and paprika and beef. Oh, we're coating. We're supposed to coat it. So, I mean, I guess I could just, like, be that asshole. Alright, so here, I'm gonna be that asshole. I'm sorry, everyone. I will need a little bit of flour in there just to get it to thicken up. And I know I'm not doing this properly. But I'm gonna pour that hot water on it right now, so it should distribute evenly. And the fact that I'm lacking in, like, beef flavoring. Like entirely? It's a sad state of affairs. Here we go. Uh, lean on. I'm gonna rinse this flour into the nice. Mm -hmm. Boom. Now, uh, can always add more liquid later. And put this back down here. Let that come to a boil. Maybe I'll make <sighs> cover. Anything else you want to add to this? I guess we'll find out later. Now that's the release press, so release that. Since I put hot water in it, it should only take about five to ten minutes to get to actual pressure. Shut that off. I've dirtied only a few things. I'm gonna recap my Merlot. <clears throat> Gotta get this back. <clears throat> Down in my bottle. Let me tell you how much I hate corks. There we go. <clears throat> I bought this at the hardware store in town before they closed it. You know where it's made? Where does it say it? Where does it say Italy? This is made in Italy. Somewhere on it, it said Italy. All right, put my Merlot back in the fridge. Maple syrup. Oh, before I stop the video, let me figure out what I'm making this with rice or if I want to make it with noodles. Nudes? Nudes. All right, she says nudes. She's like, nudes. So, we could toss it with... Well, I have that specialty pasta. I've got fusilli, I've got thick. Mm, I've got yodels. I'm probably going to eat a yodel while I wait. There are some potatoes up here. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, Jesus. Zios forgot about potatoes. All right, these potatoes are no longer with us. I'm sorry, everyone. Kosher sold pasta, promise. Uh, I'm not feeling, I think we're gonna go rice. So let's just take an assortment of my two favorites, which is Jasmine and Tixmati. And you don't need to watch me make rice. I think you could all handle that. If you can't handle that, please look up another video where I have made rice. The thing is I usually make it in a pressure cooker because it's the best rice, is pressure cooker rice. And I have to plug it into another th thing so it doesn't explode my whole electrical service. So let's just go in here. Like Alright. Me and Chewbacca are going to make rice. Right? Right. Wait 15. It's been one hour and 38 minutes because it buzzed. I'm going to take this out. Um, we need to release the pressure. Mm. The rice has been done for an hour and a half, and I just let it sit on low. Because that's the beauty of a pressure cooker. None of the moisture escapes. Oh, I have a rice thingy. See, this is a rice thingy or a dumpling spoon. Yeah, fluffy and dry. Not dry, but like fluffy rice. 
Um, this has been done for 12 minutes. I guess we'll get a drink in the meantime. Trying this uh, sparkling apple cranberry, which my pedantic OptiFast cup. Not good enough for that shit. Mmm. Do that. This is a cooking video of noises. Wow, that's a lot of air. Like it's, here's the thing, like, oh, it's blowing steam, but feel it, feel it, the flating. I could have blown up a balloon the size of this fucking kitchen with what's in there. In fact, I wonder if I could squeeze a balloon on that and actually try to blow it up with the steam pressure. Cause it's not like there's more air going into it and it's just being cycled through. That's just expansion. Do do do. Loo loo loo, I have some apples. Loo loo loo, I have some too. Loo loo loo. Until that little silver one falls down, I can't actually open this up and explore our soup options, so. Oh, we're getting there. In the meantime, I'm going to rice my bowl. I rinsed the rice out. I never actually do that. I usually just eat the rice. But I rinsed it off. Keep that on there. Come on. I want to watch this video about Watchmen episode 8. Or 7. Episode 7. I think if I push down this, yeah, there we go. Don't do that until you're almost done. That's the safety push. When that thing goes and closes, if this ever got overpressured, that would just shoot out like a bullet. Oh yeah. So I'll put this somewhere where the top can drain. It usually isn't dirty if you don't overfill it. Sometimes I overfill it and that actually gets into the vents and it's bad. It's BNB, which is bad news bears. So we've got some stuff on the sides we can wash down. I'm sure it's all flavor. Uh, we got some cabbage. The cabbage is disintegrated. It's gonna probably mix with the onions. Our mushrooms look done. Let's get some beef up here. The beef has shrunk. It always shrinks. So now here, look at the size of this beef now. Got carrots and cabbage and beef. Uh, I'm gonna go down. I'm just gonna grab a nice... Again, I don't know how the cabbage is gonna come out. I've never done beef stew with it. And it's starting to feel like I didn't have enough beef in here to start with. I did probably put like only 40% of that package. There we go. Let that sit. Throw some some au jus. I'm hoping it's the only thing I would probably have to do to this, but this so it doesn't fall down, is salt it more. Just salt it more. Um take this so I don't like burning my hands. Pick up. Apparently cabbage is always good. Oh, the spicy lives. The spicy is in there. It's 
very hot. Not spicy hot, hot. Like hot, hot, hot. How'd the meat come out? Oh, look at that. Look at it just disintegrate with my, with my fork. I will try to use as much of my will as possible to not eat all this because tomorrow this is going to be bombing. It's going to be the bomb. I'm going to add some more a juice because that rice down there is going to need it. All right, that's it for this. I'm going to take this that some of forgot unboxed in the interim and everything is covered and everything. Furniture sliders also double as coasters, by the way, in case you're wondering. These have to go back in the other apartment. So thank you for stopping by and Z Cooks here. Uh, 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 one of those. Uh, 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 one of these. Boom. I will see you all next time. And we open with a documentary that informs new viewers about Dr.